I've been involved with uh, both the sort of statistics side of this as well as talking with people who have been heavily impacted by mental health, substance use, and suicide. And all throughout the line, I have felt compelled to do what I can to help change the statistics. So I've done a lot of research that relates to the prevention side, because that is what is most important, I think, is to address this as high up in the upstream factors as we can. We've learned that you can give people information and you can provide them with bulleted lists of things to do and not do and to pay attention to. But what it comes down to in the end is people having deep conversations about the factors and their lives and them feeling inspired to take action. I definitely have observed things happening. We found, even with a short training, a very positive impact on knowledge, on attitudes, also that the training was appreciated. It was very appreciated. It was felt that it was relevant to people's lives and that they were able to use that training to help themselves, their coworkers, and their families and communities. It's not traditional health and safety, and yet the Center for Construction Research and Training has continued to put forward resources to develop new materials. NIOSH has also put forward a lot of resources and really helped shape our response to the issue to allow us to really do the work that needs to be done.